today is going to be about the most fundamental mantra in Shitala Saigo, which is Namasi Vadya. I have spoken about this uh, mantra, what is mantra in um I mean, in, in an elaborated form, in another video, which is Mandira Maudini, you know, if you have watched it, you would know. If it's if you have not watched it, don't worry, I'm just going to say it shortly here. Mandira means it is, um, it is the shortest form of a uh, big philosophy, right? That is mantra. The layman example, Prime Minister becomes PM, something like that, right? And then the next thing I want to know about mantra is, mantra is something... When you chant it, it will protect you. That is mantra. Okay, let's keep mantra aside. Now let's look into Namasivaya. Before we approach Namasivaya today, I want to talk about some serious principles of philosophy which has been said in Siddhanta Saiva so that it will be much more easier for me to explain Namasivaya, right? So, there is three uh, eternal things, eternal things, I don't know the pronunciation. It's basically there's three truths or three things that never been created or it never has a ending thing. You know, it was always there. There are three things which Sainzan says. So the first thing is said as Pati, which is the Supreme Being. Nobody invented the Supreme Being and it's never going to die or something like that. It's just going to be there. It will never extinct. It's just going to be there. The second thing is Pasu, which are the souls. Souls are also were never created. It was not created by the God. It will never be destroyed by the God. Okay, it will be always there. So that is souls. The third thing is Pasu, which we can say as bondage. Some people do say it as bondage or some people say it as ignorance or something. This is something. It is sort of power or something. It can manipulate the souls and put them into darkness. So that is the third thing. Now we're going to look at it in pretty detailed. So, now let's look at Padi. When they say about Padi, they say three main characters, which are Sat, Sit, Anandam. Sat means it is a true thing. There's no denial on whether it's existent, it is in existence or not. It's always there, okay? So, truth. The second thing is, it is the most wise or it is the most knowledgeable thing. Okay, it is the, in Tamil we say it as Pera, you know, it is, it is Adivapuru, it is very knowledgeable, okay? And the third thing we want to say is Ardana, which is God is like the, it is blissful. It is not happy, it is not joyful, it's bliss. It's like, it, it is, that's the end of happiness sort of thing, okay? So, endless happiness sort of thing. So, that is Ardana. So, God is these three things, okay? Then we talk about the souls. When we talk about the characteristics of soul in Siddha Desaiva, we say that it is also true because it was never created, it was never it's going to extinct it itself, so it's going to be there forever. Okay, so that's Unmepuru. Then we say this souls have a character where it is very much dependent on something. It depends on everything. Or oh, anything, sour would in Tamil we say. It, it just depends on something. It's easily manipulative or something. It is said as that, okay? So this soul has this weakness. So now we already see that the other thing, Pasa, which is the bondage, it's a darkness. And it is influencing the souls to create more ignorance to the soul. So the ideal situation is the souls must be dependent on the Supreme Being because that Supreme Being has the quality of the bliss, which is endless happiness. So for the soul to experience endless happiness, it has to depend on the Supreme Being, but not the Pasa, which is the darkness or mind.